<laughs> Phil, <laughs> tell us about this work Sugar. of art that's in front Sugar of trifle, very simple. Here we go. Let's have a look at this little beauty. Now, as I said before, we used to make this as a young chef and I was taught by the Queen's Special Chef and, and we just always did it. And the, the, the basic rules are very simple. Third, a third, a third. So it's third sponge, third custard and third cream. And that's roughly where you should be at. Whatever trifle you do. Yes, roughly where and it is. And no jelly no on jelly. your Absolutely watch. Absolutely no jelly. If you're doing sherry trifle, what do you do? Put sherry in it. So, so <laughs> sponge, fruit? Fr no, no, sponge, well, uh, we're, we're, uh, I'm using cherry brandy, but yeah. I'll tell you where we get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the right. sponge, aren't you? But a couple of little twists here. Okay. Okay, very simple. So let's talk about the the the, um, the guts of it first, as it were. Chocolate Swiss roll. Always use Swiss roll. My mum still uses Swiss roll, although she chews it up with a bit of I love Swiss jelly. roll. Yeah, I love it. And you want to line... Very underrated cakes of our time, Swiss roll. I think it's fantastic. Classic. I, I still love it. We need to do a piece just about how great Swiss roll is. You can make your own. Very good. Very, very, very good. And put that into the bottom like that. Any Swiss no, roll will do. The Swiss rolls of the world. Now, some of the supermarkets now do a lemon curd one and also a clotted cream one, which are very good. That's oh, really yeah. good. So here I've got, so this is the chocolate yummy. and cherry version. I've got canned cherries. Now, I used these a lot when I was a young chef. And I think for things like this, they're perfect. They make a great sorbet and you can liquid up and pick them Never apologise for any tin fruit. In they go. 225 right? grams into Love there. Love a bit of tin fruit. Then the syrup that you get, rather than putting um, yep. jelly in, I put 200 mils of the syrup to soften and make the sponge nice and soft. Mm. In that goes, OK? Like so. And that will soak it up pretty much. Then, alcohol, whether you want it or not, it goes in at this stage here. I'm not a lover of alcohol in, in sherry trifle or chocolate trifle, whatever. I think it just taints the edge. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, it's up to you. OK. So, we do. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, definitely. Has this got alcohol in it? Yeah, this, this one uh, that has a little bit, yeah, not a lot. You haven't put a lot in. So no, no. It's not like it's going to no, drown. No, 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 no. It's just a little no, but, flavor, a little touch. But some people do go a little bit over the top, Dermot. Yeah. <clears throat> that's all I'll say. So, that, so that's the base of it. Any trifle you do, that is the base. Fruit, sponge and a bit of juice. Yes. No jelly. Watch Here's a great little tip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Here's a great little tip. In here, I've got three sachets of instant custard. Now, when I had my pub, my father refused to come and eat there unless you had proper custard. And by that, he meant maybe the custard powder. Oh, really? So now, not even Alfred homemade? Bird, who made the custard years ago, invented custard powder because his wife was egg intolerant in 1863, I think it was. Good fact. Because she couldn't eat great it. Fact. So he invented custard powder. He also invented baking powder because she was yeast intolerant. There you go. As, as a raisin. No! Budget. Great yeah, there you go. Top fella. So, in here I have three sachets, 75 gram sachets of instant. Then I put into, I'll me measure this out, just over one litre of boiling water at 1.2. So just about there, you'll just see above that line. People yeah. can be quite snobby about custard, can't they? Oh, like, I quite if like it. If it's not it. homemade, no. or if it's not from a carton. No, you know, I just like, like a... all custard. But it's got to set like that. Right. You won't get that with a creme anglaise. You pour this you onto your with... instant. Look at the colour straight away. All right, and then you whisk it and it will thicken. And Phil, do you, yeah? ever, do you ever add boiling milk to it or not? You can do. You make it richer, it's up to you. I'm just using it and you'll see in that few seconds it's thickened because it's starch. Here's the kicker. No, no sugar whatsoever. All I've got is custard powder. There's no water. sugar in the custard powder. No. Well, That's I... incredible. Ah, uh -huh, hang on, Lee. But now you're going to add 350 some... grams of white chocolate. Great. Great. Now that sets the custard with a lovely velvety texture right. and also gives it a background flavour. I love that. But, but not too sweet. Well, interesting. So... Not too sweet, but really Oop. whoopsie. Great. And it will, it will literally melt in the seconds you've got it there. Right. At that point, you then need to. Go on here, ready? This is what we did slightly earlier. Oh, I love that. You don't need too much of it, do you? No, no, really no, no, no. It's no. a And what you need to do is then, this is one that's slightly cooled. I could put that one on, actually, but there we are. Does so it you're... need to be cold to pour it in? No, it needs to be warm. And then you can just pour that I on top. I thought you would have let that set already. You put it straight in. Yeah, like so. Mm. Now, that, we're using a slightly different bowl here. It's a slightly a different size. So you've got your third and your third and your third. But the, the point I'm making is, whatever you're using, what you could tamp that down. Let that chill, and you'll see it's starting to settle. Mm -hmm. At that point, you then need to whip up your cream. I've got some here. I've got this one which we did earlier, but I've also got one here, which shown it set. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Now you can see it's going to be a very happy crew because we've got wobble. a lot of trifles. Going <laughs> <on>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't the, move for it's them. Got the wobble factor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the and then this factor. So, no. have you put this in the fridge then? Yes. That's, that's nice and chilled yeah. and cool. Okay, yes. for at least one hour. Um, two. Take about an hour and a half. Yep. No apologies here. Double cream. 
on that goes. No one on top. Asked for. If you're going to do it, do it. You know? Do it properly. And as I said to you earlier, it should be a third, a third, and a third. Mm -hmm. And bear in mind also, what we're looking at is the fact this is a communal thing. Ten, twelve people in the table. Now, I've done individuals for We've you. We've done little fancy ones for us, but yes. it's family style, isn't it's it? It's in the middle of the table. Cooking. Everybody gets stuck in. Absolutely. It's beautiful. And then. I've got a building to be a little bit chefy here, so what you what we call paddle this down to get rid of the airlocks. Is that what the Queen's pastry chef showed you? Oh gosh, to do? he was a stickler. He was a real stickler. What's his name? Brian Gillum, top bloke. He taught me everything I know about pastry. That's so nice. And then what you do is you just go around the edge like this. And what I love to see. Oh, Did you work in a that. restaurant as well, or is you be, just and a plasterer? Huh? No, just you're so just... good at plastering with that technique. Well, that is absolutely paying for the wall. And you just wall, literally you? go on the top <laughs> like so, and there it is. Okay, <laughs> and then. You can decorate it. Now, the decoration I keep quite old school and I love it. So I'm just going to use a plain nozzle and literally go around. Well, heaven forbid we undersell the cream. <laughs> <laughs> more cream, more cream! No calories! No, no. <laughs> right. And you go around. It's all about maximum calories this Absolutely. Christmas. Absolutely. Well, it's it just 10 Every 12 Christmas. people. Yeah, okay, exactly. Because, so like there. you said, you don't need to have too much, do you? Ah. No. Now, I want to talk about this. These are, these are maraschino cherries or gla glacé cherries. Oh, can I have one of those, please? That's okay. Help yourself. Thank you. Are they what you get in the, in the bottom of drinks yes. sometimes? Yes. You get like a little fancy cherry. I can't, no, these are glacé, but maraschino is oh. slightly different. Mm. We don't have that maraschino flavour. Mm. So I put it onto there. But also, I'm using this. Yeah, so, what's this green This stuff? is Angelica, okay? Now, this is a member of the parsley family, cow mm. parsley. And it's a, it's a stem, as you can see, it's hollow, that the Victorians candied years oh. ago. And they love the colour. And they put it, used to put it in drinks. It's meant to be quite good for you as well. Where'd you find that? Oh, you can buy it online. I bought this online. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe supermarkets? Go. Yeah, anywhere. And it ha I think one of the supermarkets sells it. We won't go into it at the posh okay, one. Don't uh, but also, uh, what you end up with that there, you see? So you've created that shape. It's like celery. Yeah. Like. You've done it looks like celery. It is like a celery, mm. yeah. Mm. And I just put them into there like so. I then add almonds on top as well. <sighs> and you can decorate it however you, however you like. Oh, here it is. We've got these white chocolate sticks as well. I love how retro sticks. it looks. It's got to be retro. I love, I love the Victoriana feel to it as well. So. And what you need to do is then unashamedly stick it in. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, get that lovely. Dollar. You'll see the chocolate is, is, is it's set, but it's still there. Do you know what? You can save so much time with that. Your Swiss roll's already done. Your cuss is... Whoa, little what chocolate. What did you do there? Bit, bit of Merry Christmas. Oh, there it is. You're Easy. Easy. Using instant Genius. custard, I don't have a problem. Love it, love it, love it. There you go. Okay, if you'd like to give Phil's recipe a go for yourself, of course you do. Or any other dish from our chefs, you can find everything you need free on the This Morning app. Sorry.